who the hell are you? You're, I'm Frank. I love you, Frank. Get up here. <laughs> Get up here. Oh, shit. He can fly and everything. So, uh, hello, Frank. How you doing? Feeling good? Fantastic. Awesome. And uh, look at this fucking bicep. All right? Scott Sandland all over the place. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Uh, we need one more. One more dude who can actually play cards. Who do we have? Somebody's pointing. Somebody's pointing at you, sir. Yeah. Hey, get up here. And I'm going to give you an instruction in just a moment. So if both of you stand over there, that would be nice. So we're going to do an experiment in just a little bit. And people go, go shuffle the cards. It has nothing to do with that because I don't do card tricks or anything like that. We have a full deck of cards. Please open up and just check it. There's no jokers in it. It's only regular cards, correct? Yes. Good. Both of you, good? Yep, just check it. Check this envelope. Check this envelope. Just make sure I can't see through it, OK? So I want to give you a crash course in body language in just a moment, because I've got two ways of doing this, OK? So what I want you guys to do in just a moment and listen thoroughly to my instruction. I want you to take a look at the deck, go through it, and when you finally feel like, oh, that's the card I want, pick that one card, put it inside of the envelope, and just hold it between two fingers. That's it. It goes for both of you. Are we looking at the faces or the backs? Uh, look, at, well, look at the actual card, so you know what card you're choosing. Okay. Yeah, you have to, right? Because you need to pick it. Otherwise, it's just the same card all the way through. I want you to look at it, because one of these cards probably speaks to you in a way where you go, I want that card. Make sense? Yes. So you have to choose a card. Same thing goes for you. Your name again was? Frank. Frank and? Joshua. Joshua. Oh, okay. If you start, Frank, I'm going to turn my back to you. Be as fast as you can. Give the deck to, to uh, Joshua afterwards. Joshua, when you're done, just place the deck right there. Would that be okay? Oh, just put it over there. That's awesome. All right. Frank is doing his mojo right now. His magic. He's looking. He's really thorough. He's doing his best. He's trying to figure out what I'm thinking of, and he wants to choose a different one. And he's like, oh, the first choice, maybe he know about that. Let's choose the second one, or the third one, or the fourth one. Uh, Frank, are you done? Yeah. Awesome. Pass on the deck to Joshua. Way ahead of you. All right. Awesome. Joshua, when you're done, place the rest of the deck on the table behind you. Put the uh, card inside the envelope and just hold it between two fingers. And I'm going to give you the crash course I just promised you guys. How are you guys feeling? Yeah? This is the awkward moment. I can't see anything, so I'm just trying to you know, keep swimming. <laughs> are you both done? Yeah. All right, please tell me then. Otherwise, I'll just keep talking about random shit. All right, so you, you chose a card, correct? I believe so. Yeah, and so did you. Yes. So pay attention to body language already. What do both people do on stage? They got a totally blacked out envelope. They chose a card. But despite of that, they're trying to hide the envelope behind their back, as if I can see through them. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. And see the dynamic right now, right? They both feel like they have the upper hand right now, like, fuck you, you can't see my card. Oh, wow, we got a magician. There we go. So um, did your card mean something to you when you picked it? Yes? Yes? Joshua? Yes. So not just a random, random thing, but something that means something to you? Sure. All right. So pay attention now. So Frank, I'm going to do something. Hold the card out because something is going to happen. Because right now, oh, hey, here we go again. He has the authority, right? He has the power because he's holding his card until the moment I do this. Now it sucks. <laughs> it does. I want that. You can't. So <laughs> what I want you to do is think about your card as much as you can. Okay? I'm going to say a couple of things loud. And if I hit anything that is your choice, don't reveal anything until I'm done with Joshua. Okay? But from the very beginning, I wanted uh, Frank to pick a black card. And the best black card to get someone to choose is the one that resembles the heart, so that would be spades. And I didn't want to go face card because he mentioned face card, interesting enough. Because just before that, I gave him a suggestion with a gesture. I wanted him to choose four. So if I'm not mistaken, probably this is spade of four, okay, or four spades. So hold that for a little bit. 
damn. Oh, you just want to give it away right away. Okay. He's like, okay, do me. <laughs> All right. So let's do this too. And I want to look at your face as I do it. Here we go. Interesting. All right. So the question is what you have chosen. Did you change your mind, by the way? No. no? So you had this on your mind from the very beginning. Is that correct? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, okay. So if you notice on my finger right there, I got a heart. That's what I kind of like showed Joshua in the very beginning without him knowing by waving that in front of his head. And I didn't want to go face cards with him either. Usually, I, this is a king of hearts. Usually I get people to choose that three out of five times. But in this case, I actually did a mistake. So probably he picked up a number that's very close to uh, Frank, but a couple of numbers added. So if I'm not wrong, just look at me right now, five, six, seven. All right, so six of hearts, if I'm not mistaken. So I want both of you to take out your cards and show that to the audience. <laughs> six, of, six of hearts right there, awesome. Four of spades, there we go, awesome. Thank you so much, thank you. Thank you so much, awesome. There we go, 